If you're an artist, a producer, or an engineer, and you're constantly searching for the BPM or the key of a piece of audio, you need Mixed In Key. Now you might have your other methods of finding this information, but it's probably time to throw those away. What's up, YouTube? My name is Ray from Verify Sounds Recording Studio, and I want to let you know that I'm not sponsored by these guys, nor did they send me a copy to review. Now, I gotta say, I've been using this software since like 2016 or something like that, and it's been one of the most helpful tools as a full-time engineer. Mixing Key is a separate software that gives you a separate collection to host all of your audio. So the moment that you drag a piece of audio into the software, it will give you the key read as well as the BPM. You could also make it show information like volume, clip peaks, bit rate, and more. Now, given that it has its own separate library, Say you want to find different samples or see what beat you want to use, you can go ahead and play it right from the app. One of my favorite features is that it gives you cue points and they tend to line up with the downbeats and changes in the actual waveform. So if you want to just hear how something drops, go right to the drop. If you want to hear how something breaks down, go right to the breakdown. So my workflow with this program usually works like this. The artist will give me a beat that he or she wants to record over. In the midst of me pulling up a Pro Tools session, I click and drag that beat inside of Mixed In Key. It gives me the information that I need. Once Pro Tools opens up the actual session, I input the data necessary and we get to record it. Now, granted, I do use Auto Key 2 to send all of the Auto-Tune keys to the Auto-Tune plugins, but I'm gonna be honest, y'all, their key detection sucks. This is no shot at Antares Tech. I use y'all great plugins every day, don't get me wrong, but y'all got some work to do, I'm gonna be honest. Now, it might just be my copy of the plugin, which then I would just kind of feel slighted because I thought y'all loved me, but in my experience, mixing key is 99.9% .9 effective. That's not a real statistic number. I just like the sound of it, but nonetheless, a platform that can give you the BPM and key in one place and also host all of the files, you can't beat it. Mixed in Key 10 is priced at about this price right here. And if you plan on picking up a copy, comment below and tell me when you're gonna get it. Mixed in Key is a great deal for engineers and artists alike. You get a great tool set for a one-time purchase. It's not a lot of that going on anymore now, I feel. Mind you, I purchased this in 2016. It's 2023. All right, I ain't gonna stress that too much, man. <laughs> if you like this type of content, let's get it in front of more people just like us by liking this video. And make sure you subscribe to see the next video for next week. But until then, check out this video on some Pro Tools shortcuts. My name is Ray from Verify Sounds, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.